then Sheila put a note on everyone's desk saying who's been eating me lemon puffs. I mean, I love a lemon puff. Who doesn't? But Sheila is a character. Oh, she's a nutcase. Takes all sorts. Are you okay? This is a bit awkward. Oh, what is? Why I needed to see you. Oh, you're missing me now. You've got your swanky promotion to HR. New job, new responsibilities. And new shoes. They look amazing. Look, can you just... What? Just spit it out? There's been a grievance filed against you. What? I'm just here to give you the heads up. Heads up? Is that HR speak? Why are you talking to me like this? Look, Claire, don't make this any harder. Harder for who? Who is it, Anna? It's Sheila. Oh my God. Is it about the lemon puffs? She's accused you of bullying, Claire. Oh, I can't deal with this right now. Let's talk about it in the pub later. I, I won't be coming for drinks later. You need time to... What? Get your story straight. Here's your formal letter. Enjoying your new job, are you? You have a good weekend, Claire. You're not getting any more money. Don't want your money. I want to see them. Sandra, they don't want to see you. You frighten the shit out of them. You are a nasty, vindictive... No, I'm their guardian. And I'm their carer. And I'm their auntie. Exactly. You'll never be their mother. <laughs> and what about you? I would not trust you to look after a stray dog. I love those kids. I know love's a difficult concept for a cold bitch like you to grasp. You need to go. I know what it's like to lose a child, Karen. But they're my kids, not yours to use for your comfort and relief. Mine! I'm their mum. You don't get to take that away from me just because Lolly is dead. I feed them. I take them to school. I wipe their arses and sort out their bloody nits. I hold Jaden tight when he's had a nightmare and sing him back to sleep. I untangle Ellie's knots and curls in front of her favourite film. Do you even know what that is? I take Beth to the asthma clinic. And I tell the boy over the road to not call her a slag because of what her mother does. Those kids feel loved. And those kids feel safe. So don't you dare tell me what it's like to be a mother. And don't you dare ever mention her name again. Ever.